can still can see the face now. Okay, I'm here with the new TaylorMade RBZ driver. You're sure you've seen a lot of this on the TV now, all the tour players are using it. Um, it's a very popular head. TaylorMade have kept with the white themed head that they introduced last year in the new R11 and the new burner. The RPZ, RBZ is really an update on that driver. It's a really, I think, a far, far better head now than the, uh, than the burner or the R11. What you have is actually the old burner price so what you've got is what you call flight control technology which is where you can move the club you can change the loft in 1.5 degree increments so effectively you can add loft or de-loft the club depending on what your swing style is and what your ball flight requirements are but uh, you've got a club here that's built for distance it's got what we call um, it's more aerodynamic it's got what we call uh, an inverted comb technology on the face so basically that's increasing ball speed um, trying to get the ball coming off the club face faster you've got a lightweight shaft as a standard setting which again lighter the shaft generally faster you can swing so that's again another benefit to hitting the ball a lot further and obviously we can change the loft so kind of when you're playing around with the club you've got to think about using kind of the key where you can just insert the key, unscrew the head, change the settings. There's actually eight different options on this. So what I would, again, I would recommend with all these adjustable drivers these days that you consider having it fitted, take advice. We generally do all fittings on this kind of driver because you out there generally don't know exactly what setting you should be on. You need guidance. The uh, technology can be a little bit daunting initially, but as soon as you learn the system, it's very, very simple. And you know, that's part of the fun of the driver. You're buying the technology, so why not use it? So let's give this one a go. So it's a lovely shaped head. It's 460cc, it sits great behind the ball. It sits very, very square. Obviously you can turn the club face in a little bit with changing the loft or I'll just open the club face a little bit. But it sits really nice behind the ball. It feels really good in the hands. It's kind of with a light, lightweight shaft, it's very easy to feel the head and when you swing the club here it has a really nice sound to it I kind of call that pretty much out the middle it's not as loud as some of the drivers some drivers you get a little bit tinny this comes off the face really nice feels kind of really nice it's not too ringy with the sound which is good I'm indoors here so you'd really be able to tell the sound but again as you strike the ball it's really nice it's a really nice feel ball flight is superb Obviously for me, I'd probably have a little bit of a stiffer shaft in it, but the trajectory is a very, pen very penetrative flight, so it's increasing your distance. So an aerodynamic head, this inverted comb technology they have in the face, lightweight shaft, lightweight grip. It's a lovely looking head behind the ball. It's very, very square and very easy to line up. I think if you can just sort of, if you're considering one of these drivers, it's well worth having it fitted. Sort of learn the technology, learn what the club's all about, understand how the changes in the club will suit your game therefore definitely have it fitted and i think could add a few extra yards to your game